Hello everybody, with the recent release of Unreal Engine 5.1, I wanted to go ahead and make a getting started video for how to use all the tools and resources that we have available with our plugins for the Unreal Engine 5, um, specifically speaking about the Ultimate Multiplayer System and the Multiplayer with Blueprints plugins, which are back-end infrastructure, and uh, Multiplayer with Blueprints is a great place for getting started, whereas the Ultimate Multiplayer System is going to have every possible backend tool you can need that is available um, from our content. Multiplayer with Blueprints is going to contain Gamelift, Cognito, Lambda, and DynamoDB, whereas the Ultimate Multiplayer System is going to be all of those services in the Multiplayer with Blueprints, along with GraphQL, S3, our directional and proximity-based voice chat system, CloudWatch, and our loading screen plugin. So let's go ahead and get started with these backend tools. Okay, so now the first step that everyone needs to make sure they do is install a source engine of the Unreal Engine 5 engine. Um, so that is because the normal engine from Epic Games, we cannot use a dedicated server. We can't build with a dedicated server. So we need it to be a source engine, which you can find on Epic Games' GitHub. And um, you'll see here, you need to be logged in and you'll have to create an account, but that's, they've given me permission. And from here I can download the source engine. I also will link this Google doc, which I lay out step-by-step -step instructions for what exactly to do. And as you can see here, I have a UE 5.0 source engine, a 5.1 source engine and a 4.27 source engine. Um, for this video, I'll be using the UE 5.1 uh, specifically. And uh, all the steps right here, you will git bash and clone the engine from Epic Games. But as I said, you need to make sure you have an account. And if you have any issues, if you just search downloading Unreal Engine Source, you can find there's a step-by-step -step tutorial from Unreal Engine documentation themselves laying out what to do. And then I will also link this, this Google Doc with the quickest steps for how I installed it because this is what I did and it's the simplest way in my opinion. But we will need a source engine to interact with our plugins so that we can build a dedicated server which is not available in the regular Epic Games engine. Okay, so now once you have the source engine installed, we need to go back over to our Epic Games engine and we're gonna make sure we have whichever plugin that you have purchased uh, downloaded to your Epic Games engine so that we can copy it over to our source engine. As you can see here, I have both Multiplayer with Blueprints installed, as well as the Ultimate Multiplayer System installed to my 5.1 Epic Games engine. And if you do not, you'll scroll down to where your plugin is located and click Install to Engine, and it'll say Add Plugin to Slot, and you can just put, click Install. As I showed you, mine's already installed to all my compatible engine versions. So I already have it there, but once you install it, you should see uh, in your installed plugins that it is there and then we can go to its location in our folder and use it. Okay and now that we have the source engine installed to our computer and we also have the plugin installed to our Epic Games library we will be able to start using the plugin inside of projects. So you can either start with a blank project or if you take a look at my screen I have a full tutorial system which I will link to in the comments below so that you guys can follow. It's also, if you join our Discord, it's inside of the announcements uh, channel as well as the product tutorials channel. So all of these tutorial series that I've grouped videos together, for example, if you wanna create an advanced login system and all you need is Cognito, it has the service listed with the tutorial of which services you will need to be able to do this. So like for example, if you only have the multiplayer with Blueprints plugin, um, the matchmaking invitation system uses GraphQL, which is not included in that. So this tutorial series will not, you'll not be able to use this with the example project. Um, same with incremental update system has S3, which is only included in the ultimate multiplayer system. That one won't be available. But if you have the ultimate multiplayer system, uh, you don't need to worry about any of that because you have access to every single service. Um, so let's go to one of these videos here and let's make sure we can get an example project set up and running so we download this final project I already have it pulled up right here and so what I'm gonna need to do is take that plugin 
from Epic Games and then add it to a plugins folder inside of uh, the project that we want to use. And then we will be able to uh, open the project and use all the services that are included inside of it. And you can follow along with the video tutorial to see how it is set up and you'll have the example project to go along with it. So I have the Ultimate Multiplayer Services plugin and I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And I'm going to create a plugin folder inside of this project. And paste it inside of there. And then once that finishes uh, installing to that folder, we're going to go ahead and also install this JSON Blueprint plugin. Um, currently, it's only compatible for 5.0, but if you download it to the 5.0 engine and then just make sure you go in and change the engine version to 5.1 instead of 5.0, we will be able to use that plugin as well. And uh, these are the two plugins that I'm going to need. If you have multiplayer with blueprints, you would just put multiplayer with blueprints instead of ultimate multiplayer services plugin inside there. And we're going to go to the U project file. And I'm going to remove these plugins that are listed here. And then we're going to switch the Unreal Engine version to make sure it is targeting my source build of the engine at 5.1. Get zero warnings or errors, bind the data, and then after that finishes, we'll go ahead and open up the SLN file that comes along with it. And so then once that starts up, we can go ahead and come over here to the game of tutorial project file that we just opened, and we're gonna go ahead and build it so that all of those all those two plugins that we installed and all of those services are going to be added uh, to our project so that we can use them inside of the project and not have any errors when we open it up. And now this process has completed. You see one succeeded, zero failed. Um, so we can go ahead and exit out of this. And open up our project. And you'll see, we go to blueprints, go to lobby, third person character, and you'll see like describe matchmaking right here inside the project. If you didn't have the plugin installed, you'd get an error on those kind of blueprints. And if you have multiplayer with blueprints only, there's gonna be some instances where like subscribe to GraphQL this is not going to load because GraphQL is not included in multiplayer with blueprints. But now you should be able to use any project from any of the video tutorial series. And moving forward, I would recommend following these tutorial series for getting started and then for implementing specific features. On top of that, I will link to our full documentation right here and you can see Cognito, Gamelift, Lambda, uh, Databases, S3, CloudWatch, Voice Chat, all of the Ultimate Multiplayer services are going to be listed up there and you can get more information about either of those and then I would make sure get verified to join our Discord. I'll leave a link to our Discord in the description below as well and uh, you can get support on any of our products once you are verified inside of our Discord. and. Those would be the three main tools that I think would be the best for developing using the Ultimate Multiplayer System plugin and the Multiplayer with Blueprints plugin.